Today I'm going to show you how to paint on plain brown paper. You can make it into wrapping paper or table runners or whatever your heart desires. Okay, so I have a roll of paper. You could use wrapping paper, you can use packing paper, um, whatever kinds of paper you want to use. You could use colors, um, works basically the same. I'm going to not crease my paper. That's one thing you don't want to do because you can't take that crease away. So I'm going to make that be my start mark. And I know I'm going to use this great big stencil. So I'm going to want to see how much room do I want it to hang down. I'm going to want it to hang down probably a foot without any paint on it. So I'll back that up. And then I also am going to want it canted to the side. And then it needs to hang off of my table. So I need to get it all the distance of my table and then down the other side the same and leave yourself some leeway. So that's a little bit complicated, super cheap, super affordable, so it's worth the pain. Okay, so I have a um, bench sitting on the other side of my counter here. And what you could do if you didn't have a big work surface like this to work on top of, what you can do is you can set up some sawhorses in your garage and just kind of cobble together a little bit of a stand. I want to give a little bit of taping to this, but I don't want it to be super sticky because I don't want it to tear my paper. So what I can do is find something linty, like these paper towels, and I can adhere my tape to the linty item, which will lift the linty stuff, and it will make my tape very not sticky. And then don't push down too hard. You can do that on a pair of jeans as well. It works really great. Okay, that's just a little stick will do ya. Okay, take our paint and we'll take, make sure we're nice and shooken up. There's a couple of tools that you can use to do this. With this project, you're not gonna want your paint to be very wet. If your paint is super wet, then what's going to happen is you are going to make your paper soggy and things will pull and tear and rip and stuff like that. So that's really the takeaway that you want to take away. So we're gonna grab, I've got ink sweepers and I've got, um, well, I've got ink sweepers and ink sweepers. And I've got the jumbo dauber. These are both items that I could use for this project. There's a very big area, so those would both work. And I could also use my dome brush, which we use for not bleeding under. The problem is these are big openings. The bigger you get, you're gonna have to be holding down your stencil. So with the daubers and um, the ink sweepers, you can go straight up and down makes it a little bit easier. So I'm gonna go that route. All of them would work though. So let's go with Mr. Jumbo Dubber. So we load the paint right there in the middle and then we push it off on our paper towel. Okay, and then we just start pouncing lightly. Notice it's not fully dark. It'll take a couple of coats. And then I am gonna hold down my stencil, straight up and down. This is gonna be one of those, um, put your video on, find something to listen to, that kind of thing. This is just, just an easy, easy jaunt through the painting world and it's going to be fun, pretty fast, but it's just kind of boring because you're just doing one color, you're not scumbling, you're not peeking, all those things. I'm getting a little bit too much paint on here and I'm getting my wrinkles. So we definitely want to push a little bit harder on our paper towel and go for lighter coats. I did a test to see if that heat of the blow dryer would flatten that back down if I got it a little wrinkly, and it does. But we still wanna be really cautious with our paint. I think I might be able to control with my dome brush a little bit better and not get so wrinkly. 
I'll just have to make sure I'm holding things down. Okay, let's take a look. I'm gonna hold this down here. I'm gonna peel my tape. And that did a perfect job. The two coats worked really well. And so that is what we are looking at right there. And then I'm gonna finish the others and I'll show you the end. Okay, ta-da. All right, let's talk about what we learned here. We learned that we make the tape less sticky by putting it on something linty, like a paper towel. We learned to do the first application with the jumbo dauber. These are reusable forever and ever and ever, as long as you clean them out after you get done painting. Um, and then follow it up with a dome brush and swirl to complete um, the coloring. Don't do it too heavy or your paper will bubble. But if you apply heat, it settles down and dries. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the Table Runner and we'll see you in the next video.